Hey everyone, this is the How to Guy here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install Sino Chen Mode 10 and Sino Chen Mode 11 on the Sony Xperia E single SIM and dual SIM. Now, this is gonna be applied for the Sony Xperia E, uh, model number is C1504 and C1505 for the dual and single SIM. Now, uh, the Android version, uh, now this aside from what we are using right now, uh, to demonstrate is the Sino Gen 10, which is Android 4.1.2. It's a little bit step up from the Sony's official Android version 4.1.1. So, if you're interested in getting a fully working Sino Gen Mode 10 or 11 on your on your Sony Xperia E, let's get started. All right. So, before you even do any of the flashing the ROM and flashing the kernel and rooting your device, you need to have your device bootloader unlocked. Now, what it is is it's going to unlock your bootloader so that you can, uh, you know, install any custom ROM and uh, flashing any kernel. Um, there is a site in the uh, SonyMobile.com so that you can unlock your bootloader. This is for free and it's going to be no cost. Um, you see that you can actually to your device and continue and then you need to uh, follow its uh, instructions and once you're done you will have your bootloader unlocked all right so I'm not going to demonstrate uh, all of these unlocking stuff let's get into these instructions so we need three files to do this the first file is the CM Sinochain mode 10 ROM itself it is a ROM this take about like um, more smoke like uh, 153 megabytes. It is contain all these uh, Sino Gen mode installation and things. And the second one is the G apps, which is used for installing uh, Google apps such as uh, Google Search, Google Play Store, and any other default Google apps. And the third files is the uh, kernel, which is the boot.img. Now, where that is, it's actually inside of the CM10 itself, the, uh, the ROM itself. As you can see, we have the boot IMG here. This is a kernel files. So, what you need to do is get to your C drive and create a folder called fastboot and then drag the boot IMG inside. And then you will have the um, kernel files intact. And uh, once you have done all these things, let's get right into instructions, right? Alright, so the first step you need to do is uh, you need to set up a uh, Sony Xperia E and you need to uh, swipe down to the uh, settings. Now, uh, I am actually using a uh, Sino Gen Mode 11, but I want to download you to CM10, so that's I'm going to uh, show you guys in this tutorial. And you need to enable uh, USB debugging or Android debugging or any uh, USB debugging. And once you're done here, you need to go ahead and power up your device. Alright, so once you power up your device, uh, we need to ready yourself a um, USB to micro USB to uh, connect um, your device to your computer to uh, make a uh, installation. All right, so we need to uh, connect uh, the U USB, connect uh, one side to USB to your computer, and then the other side right here. You need to um, what you should do here is. Now, since I have lost this volume button bezel, I'm going to uh, pop out and use this to make it a little bit easier. And what you should do here is you need to press the power, the volume up button, and uh, as well as plug in the uh, device into the same time. So, and it's a little bit harder to do. And go. 
right until you see this uh, blue LED uh, slash here which means that your device is in the fast boot mode all right now get back to here um, the first thing you need is you need to drag two of these files to the SD card uh, to install and the first next thing you going to need is go to the fast boot folder uh, where you put your boot IMG which is uh, what we have done earlier and then you need to um, focus on the keyboard you need to press on the shift key press on the shift key and right click on the folder and you will see a uh, another window here I just uh, the camera all right so uh, we need to click on open command window here and you will see this uh, CMD window say C fast boot now we have this command right here we need to copy the command I will also put the link in the description put this command on the screen below as well and going to copy this file and of course all of these uh, the ROM and the GF will be in the description below but the boot IMG you need to put uh, do it yourself by uh, go to the ROM itself and take the boot and you need to right click and you will paste the uh, command and enter alright so you see that um, say flashing flash operation completed and now you can actually plug out your now what you do is pop out the SD card Alright, so here's the uh, micro SD, which is only have one gigabyte. Then we need to have a, um, a memory card reader. Oh, uh, I forgot. You can actually copy all this file before you even do the before you power up your device. But in my case, I already the uh, power up, so I'm going to um, do this step. Alright, so once you have it, um, right, so here is the uh, SD card, and uh, what you do is uh, delete these things too big. Alright, so what you do here is drag this file, the G apps, and the ROM into the SD card. take a little while right before we and our back in just a moment all right so after you have copied the uh, the file to your SD card you can now unplug it and take the SD card out and you need to insert it on your phone alright so now we can enter our recovery alright you can enter recovery by press uh, several pressing the uh, volume button, volume up button and the power button at the same time Alright, until uh, you are in the uh, Timberland Recovery uh, 2.6.0.0 Now, what you need to do here is go to Wipe, Advanced Wipe and tick the first four uh, line that would catch, System Catch and Data Now, swipe to Wipe Alright, once you have wipes so done wiping, uh, go back Go back until you see the install, press tower and install, and make sure you are in the external SD, so all the way down 
uh, until you see the um, sign of the uh, CM10 solves and yet you need to go ahead and swipe to flash. Now you're going to install the sign of the mode itself. Alright, so as you can see, it says successful, and then you need to go ahead and go back, and uh, you do not uh, restart yet, you just flash another file called the um, gapps, alright, and then swipe to confirm. Then you're going to swipe the uh, gapps, and then you, should, you will be done. Alright, as you can see, successful again, and now you can actually reboot. Right. Now your device will reboot. Alright, now you see the uh, official Sinogen mode uh, loading screen. Loading screen, I guess. Now it's going to be a first boot, so it's going to be very slow. Uh, so I will not skip until the setup screen I will skip. Alright, so this is pretty fast, and um, alright, now I'm going to set everything up, and once I'm done, I will come back. Alright, so I have done uh, setting up, and now I am in the official screen of um, Sino Gen Mode 10, and also I want to show you guys the Android version. As you can see, it says Android 4.1.2. Alright, so here's the uh, Android. Alright. And, uh, and everything works. Now I'll show you guys the camera does not work. Um, uh, everything works except for the camera. Of course, if you take photos, it will okay. You see, uh, it can actually take photos. Very nice. But if you change to the video, um, you will have some crash. And unfortunately, it got to stop. And uh, video recording won't work. But everything else works and very, very flawlessly. Uh, thank you for watching this video. This is going to be a very interesting video. This is going to be applied for both CM10 and CM11 install. Uh, I have a uh, separate uh, ROM and G apps for that. Uh, for the kernel, just for find yourself. I will not post because I'm too lazy to upload. Um, but uh, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.